Hello everyone. Welcome to the first ICT class of this academic year. Myself Babida Jeet. I am your new ICT teacher. Hope you all are fine and safe. Welcome all to the new academic year. I know ICT is your favorite subject because through computers we can do a lot of activities using different technologies and softwares. The students who have computer at your home have to practice all the activities which we are discussing here. Others nothing to worry. You have to keep a book aside, note points. Once you got a chance, you can do it without any fail. Before moving to the syllabus, we can just discuss about some general topics. What is a computer? A computer is an electronic device which accepts input, processes data, stores data and produces output. What will be the features of a computer? It's reliable, portable, it do multitasking, it reduces manual labor, it's high speed, lot of features are there, right? Computer plays an important role in our daily life. How it is, how we can say like that? I will explain through some examples. Our online classes are going on. How we are conducting online classes? Without mobile or laptop or computer, is it possible? You will be knowing your parents or your relatives or your friends working from home. Without these gadgets, is it possible? According to the situation, I will explain one topic. I will tell you one topic. That is, we all know about the current situation. Corona is going on. So, we have to register for the vaccination. How we will be, how we are registering for vaccination? Through portal. How we get into the portal? Through a source. But which source? Through which source we are getting into the portal? Through web browsers. I hope you all studied about web browsers last year. Right? What are the web browsers? Mozilla Firefox, Internet Explorer, Google Chrome. We have a web browsers. We know the which portal we have to register for the vaccination. We have computer. With all these things, is, is this possible? No. One more thing we have to connect. What is that? Internet. What is internet? Internet is a global system of interconnected computers that uses a common protocol to share information with each other. I know you have studied this in the last year. I hope you all understood. These are some general topics. You all will be knowing that. So before moving to our chapters, 9th standard chapters, just we have to memorize some important points which we have studied previously in 8th standard. I will be showing some important softwares which you studied. Okay. Before that, what is our subject name? ICT. Someone will be asking you, your subject, your, uh, you have a subject ICT. You know what is the full form of ICT? Can anyone say? Yes. Information and Communication Technology. Information and Communication Technology provide access to information through telecommunication. What is this telecommunication? It includes Internet, mobile services, other wired networks and other communication medium. Okay. I hope it is clear to you. Now, 
जिस वी कैन मेमोराइज इम्पॉर्टेंट पॉइंट्स इम्पॉर्टेंट सॉफ्टवेयर फर्स्ट वन इज के टेक्स सॉफ्टवेयर फॉर वाट पर्पज इज के टेक्स सॉफ्टवेयर इज यूज के टेक्स सॉफ्टवेयर इट इज यूज टू लर्न एंड प्रैक्टिस टाइपिंग नदर वन इज लाइबर ऑफिस राइटर फॉर वाट पर्पज इट इज यूज इट इज यूज टू type a text in ubuntu software i hope you all know about ubuntu software you have done activities previously in this software in this operating system sorry the next one is scratch for what purpose is scratch software is used it is used to create animations cartoons and games easily presentation software you all will be knowing the presentation software we have done projects assignment in this software it is used to display information in the form of slide show the important presentation software the main important uh, presentation software is microsoft powerpoint we all use that right next one is spreadsheet if you want to organize analyze and store data in a tabular form we need an application software named spreadsheet right another one is audacity what is this software this is a software that is used to edit and record digital audios so these are all some of the softwares which we have learned previously okay so i hope it is clear i hope you all remembered about that so now we can move to our current syllabus like in eighth standard we have two textbooks for icit in this year also each of five chapters part 1 and part 2 each of five chapters our first chapter name is layout of pictures suppose you all will be having group photos in your home your family group photos friends group photos if you want to take only your photo from that group photo how we can do that if you want to edit the text is it possible how we can do that if you want to edit images is there any software for doing this all purpose just we have discussed about some of the important software last year some of you may be thinking teacher didn't tell about a main software what was that in one knows yes gimp gimp is a free software that is used for drawing images creating copies of images editing images separating the parts of images editing text lot of features are there for gym right what is the full form of gym no image manipulation program i hope you all have studied in the last year so you will be knowing that how we can open gym gym opens has three windows when we open gym in ubuntu we will be getting three windows that is toolbox window canvas window and layers panel window canvas window is the main window toolbox consist of lot of tools for making things so in this chapter we are going to create a poster by using 
is told and this is the continuation of the chapter wonderland of pictures did you remember that chapter yes we have studied that chapter in 8th standard in part 1 textbook second chapter it is right so here we have to make a poster by using this software so you will be thinking what is a poster a poster is a large printed paper that is used for decorations you have heard about film posters political parties making posters for promoting their parties you all have heard so now we are also making a poster by using this gym tool so students i hope you all have understood so what are we have discussed today we just memorized about the first the main things the main softwares of last year just we have started our first chapter we familiarize about gym tool so students what you have to do is revise gym then only we can do activities without any fail so from next class in detail we will be starting our first chapter we will be doing the activities step by step okay so revise gym just go through first chapter hope you all understood if you feel any doubt if you got any doubt please feel free to ask me okay see you in the next class thank you bye